Okay, so this video is going to show you how to mount an Xbox 360 DV drive in your computer um, like this and be able to plug it up to a computer's power source and have it work as a DVD drive. So you can use this to flash your BIOS or whatever. If you're just flashing their bio, your BIOS, there's an easy way to do this, but I don't have a DVD drive and I have a broken Xbox, so that's what I'm using this for. So in order f to get this to work, you're going to have to convert the computer's power into the Xbox 360's power. So here is a plug-in for, so this plugs into the, the computer part of your power source, um, and this goes into the back of the DVD drive. Uh, this schematic is pretty simple to build. These two right, as you can see, these two resistor circuits right here are just two, uh, it's going to take this 5 volts, so this red wire right here is 5 volts. And it's going to take that and split it into 3.3 volts. And then send that to some of the pins on here. And then this switch right here, you can eject, once you get it working with Windows or whatever you're using, you can eject it for the computer from the computer. But just in case you want to eject it manually, that's what this switch is going to do. So you just flip, flip it back and forth or once, depending on if you're in mode B or if you're just in regular, um, that's going to open the DVD drive. So, what you do is you take this, um, and then I have a SATA cable from the back of the Xbox 360 right there. Let me try and get a better angle. So, uh, you can't really see. So there's the SATA cord going to the back of my DVD drive. And then the other plug I just showed you goes right to the left of it in that little slot right there. So I'm going to take that right now. And I'm going to plug it in. Uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Alright, so that's in there. So as you can see, that's plugged up. And then what you do is you take this other piece and get it out of the way here. Make sure eventually you're gonna want to enclose this because you don't want you don't want any current leaking from the bottom um, on any of the other pieces of your computer because that's gonna mess it up most likely. So eventually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enclose this circuit into its own you know plastic thing to insulate it um, from the the other pieces that are inside of my computer. But for now. Um, cause I just made it, I'm gonna leave it like this. And then you just take one of these, right? And you plug it straight into here. Alright, so that's in. And then, set the computer back up right. Make sure that that is not touching anything it shouldn't be. Um, usually when I do all this, I either unplug the back of the computer, or I turn off the power supply, or both. So I'm going to turn the power supply back on and boot it up and sh show you that everything's working. Okay, here's the BIOS. There's the, as you can see, the BIOS picked up on the DVD drive. So I 
I put in Bad Boys 2, the movie. Funny movie, you should check it out. Push that in. Give it a second for it to start spinning and recognize the disc. There it is. Play DVD movie. I'm going to play it with the VLC media player. Up comes Bad Boys 2. So, as you can see, everything works correctly. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Um, if you don't understand the schematic that I posted, um, like I said before, send me a message. I'll help you out with that. Um, 